Happy Tuesday, everybody, and it's actually Tuesday this time, I double-checked. I'm Adam James, and you're watching In Other News, the show where we talk about irrelevant news stories. Today, I'll show you Dubai's new police vehicle straight out of J.J. Abrams' imagination, a newspaper that allegedly ruined a pimp's stellar career, and turkeys raining from the heavens. So hold on to your britches, and let's get this show on the road. Dubai has quite the reputation for being at the cutting edge of technology, what with their firefighter jetpacks this past January. Now they're in the news again for signing a deal with a Russian company named Hoversurf, who recently debuted their new bike, the Scorpion. Looking at it, you almost expect to see a stormtrooper chasing Luke Skywalker on it. Seriously, this guy can get 42 miles per hour with a rider on it, and 69 miles per hour in drone mode. Yup, it has freaking drone mode! It can fly 5 meters above the ground to get around traffic and other obstacles. Take a look! Oh, sorry, R wrong clip. I can't even fly a DJI drone over some crowds because they might randomly fall out of the sky, let alone a bike with a 200 pound man on it. They're going to cause just as many accidents as they're trying to respond to. And with only a flight time of 25 minutes, it doesn't seem like they're gonna get anywhere fast. I understand that they have oil money burning a hole in their pockets, and that they're trying to build the city of tomorrow, but come on! Can't we just stick with Lamborghini cop cars and be happy? If any country should have the ability to call its city a city of tomorrow, it definitely should be Canada. It's a common stereotype that Canadians are so incredibly nice that it's almost uncomfortable. Oh sure, that's what Canadian hospitality is all about. If you like, you can have all my money and my leg. Okay. Though Canada still has its flaws like Reza Moazami. Apparently, Reza is a violent pimp who is currently serving 18 years in prison for various charges ranging from sexual assault to human trafficking. Reza is suing the Vancouver Sun and the National Post newspapers to the tune of 250,000 smackaroos for words used that were either directly or inadvertently deflammatory given that many of the alleged accusations were proven false in court. Apparently, this guy feels like he was a pretty big deal on the streets. Reza, again a man with the job description of violent pimp, thought that the newspapers were smearing his notoriously good name. In other words, even anger-prone Canadian pimps have feelings. It's almost like he's saying, Alright guys, I know what I did was bad, but you don't have to kick me while I'm down, eh? If Reza doesn't win the case, he'll probably be spending the next 18 years of his sentence writing slam poetry about rebuilding his stellar reputation all while riding Big Daddy Kane's Pimpin' Ain't Easy all over his cell. Here's a false story for you to gobble up. If you've ever attended your local turkey trot, you probably know the drill. The turkey trot is a fun run, if it can be called such a thing, usually held around Thanksgiving. Yellville, a city in Arkansas, held their turkey trot a little early this year, but you probably never expected their turkey trot to turn into the turkey drop. This turkey plot is hitting the turkey spot. Evidently, Yellville, Arkansas has had the turkey drop for over five decades. That's right, these people have been dropping turkeys out of the sky for over 50 years. The turkeys were reportedly dropped out of a low-flying plane and then chased by runners, which apparently is not an abnormal thing for this festival. After more than 50 years, the Federal Aviation Administration has finally decided to look into the tradition a little deeper. The FAA was reportedly aware of the most recent turkey drop, so it's likely that they've been aware of the event for quite some time. It took them 50 years for someone to say, hey, should we, should we maybe not be dropping live turkeys out of an airplane? Like, is that okay? Is it ethical? They claim they have not intervened in the past because they don't consider live turkeys to be projectiles. Which, like, okay, I get that. But really, you're hooking live turkeys out of a plane and you don't see how that could maybe not end well? Local animal activist Rose Hilliard filed a complaint with the local sheriff claiming that it was an act of terrorizing animals and against state law. Though I think even the sheriff was a little amused by seeing turkeys dropped out of an airplane. All right, I wanna hear from you. Are the new police bikes really worth it? Do you think pimping really ain't easy? And what do you think about Chicken Little falling out of the sky? Let me know in those comments down below. And scream! <laughs> if you like this show, please like and subscribe by clicking the channel icon right over there. And you can click this video right over here to see last Thursday's episode. And please share this with your friends, because pimping really isn't that easy. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you guys on Thursday.